In this video, we'll show a few ideas of how to prank your friends. Let's have fun! Our friend knows how much we love chocolate. She treats us with a whole bar. What a thoughtful girl! Thank you! Trace a bar of chocolate on bubble wrap. Cut it out. Shape a square in clay of the bar size. Put the bubble wrap on top. Melt the chocolate. Spread it over the wrap. Put the fake chocolate into a freezer. When cool, put a wrapping on the bar. The chocolate smells tempting. We're going to break off a piece, but the chocolate turns into something weird. Bubble wrap and clay? It isn't tasty at all. We toss the fake chocolate to each other. We're definitely not going to eat it. She pranked us again. We'll teach her a lesson. No one will survive in this prank war. Even a cute supply rabbit holder turns out to be a weapon. I capture it. Wind thread around a pen barrel. Fasten it with a cap. Wind other pens in the same way. Use the same thread. We've got a pen garland. Put it back into the holder. Return the rabbit to its place. My friend wants to write something down while talking on her phone. She reaches out for a pen and gets other pens following the first one. They're tied up. My friend's still trying to write something, but it seems her caller stopped talking before she coped with the threads. My friend needs clear nail polish. She's rummaged around in her makeup bag, but didn't find anything of the kind. While she is away looking for the stuff, I put my own special nail polish into her bag. Pour clear liquid soap into an empty polish bottle using a paper cone. My friend's surprised to find her polish. Why could she not find it before? She quickly paints her nails. But this polish doesn't dry at all. And it's a bit weird to the touch. And this strange smell. It isn't nail polish, but another prank. My friend's going to have her coffee. She asks me to give her my coffee stick. Here you are. Enjoy your coffee. Take a spoon of citric acid and a spoon of baking soda. Make a tiny cut on the coffee stick. Put in citric acid and soda using a paper cone. Tape the cut. She put the coffee from her stick into a cup. I help her pour in hot water. Oops, there's something wrong. Instead of coffee, my friend's cup is full of lemon and soda foam bubbles. Is it a new type of cappuccino? My angry friend takes my coffee. I still have my cookies. My friend falls asleep while reading a book. I must take advantage of it. I'm not going to let her enjoy her nap. A treacherous revenge hand will help me out in it. Trace your hand on a piece of thick cardboard with some allowance. Make fingertips square. Cut it out. Fold the phalanges of each finger. Cut a thick cocktail straw into short and long pieces. Attach the short pieces to the phalanges and the top of the palm. Attach the long ones to the wrist. Take string and pass it through all the straws in a row, from the wrist to the tip of a finger. Hot glue the string to the tip of the finger. Pass the string through each of the fingers in this way. At the wrist area, tie the ends of the string into wide loops. Attach a cardboard strip to shape an arc here. Put on the cardboard hand and pass your fingers through the string loops. Now you can move your fake fingers. I'm dreaming that Freddy Paper Hand is sneakily coming at me. He's stretching his terrible hand towards me, trying to tear my scalp away. I changed the armchair. Maybe that one is full of bad energy. I want to take a nap just a little bit more, to be as fresh as a daisy on my date tonight. But the nightmare comes back. This time, I managed to seize the monster by the arm. Oh my god, it's not a dream. The hand is real. How awful. Meanwhile, the treacherous prankster grabs her friend from the back. This scream can be heard anywhere. Well, the prank has been a big time success. 
Redhead is chatting with her boyfriend. A wave of cute smiley faces flows over the screen. Let me make my friend's chat even sweeter than it already is. I put DIY chocolate eggs into the bowl with sweets. Cover a raw chicken egg with brown acrylic paint. You may prepare a few eggs like this. Wait until the paint dries. Add some more coats to cover the white shell entirely. I move the bowl closer to my friend. The sweet tooth grabs the chocolate egg right away. What filling is inside of it? I wonder. Redhead breaks the egg. Oops! It's not a kinder, but a chicken surprise. It's the first time Redhead sees this kind of a dessert. I cooked my friend's favorite cream sponge cake. She thinks that I want to make up for my egg prank in this way. She's so naive. She doesn't even suspect that I didn't give up on my plan to ruin her perfect date. And an onion filling is the best way to do it. We will need a cream sponge cake. Peel an onion and cut rings. Lift the top of the cake slightly and put an onion ring between the layers of the cream and the sponge. Spread the cream to cover the onion. Redhead tastes the cookie, but the taste sets the alarm bells ringing. Why does this cream have an onion taste? And her friend keeps eating her cake as if nothing is wrong. Maybe it's a special recipe to drive away evil ghosts on a date. I may drive away not only ghosts, but also my boyfriend with this smell. Every girl does her makeup before a date. This is why Redhead wants to sneak unusual makeup into her friend's makeup bag. Take an applicator out of an empty lip gloss container. Take a wand out of an old mascara. Clean them up. Cut off the wand and the applicator and swap them. Hot glue the applicator to the mascara cap and attach the wand to the lip gloss cap. Close the makeup. The date is right around the corner. It's time to doll up. I take out my lip gloss and apply it to my lips, but the applicator looks weird. If I am supposed to do my lip makeup with this brush, then what should I use to do my eye makeup? Right, the lip gloss applicator. What's wrong? Either one thing or another. Either mascara and lip gloss change their places, or it's my friend's prank. Oh, I'm thirsty. Haha, here's mineral water. Open a bottle of mineral water. Take green food coloring and put it on the spout. Close the bottle. Give the bottle to your friend. She drinks water from the bottle and her lips become as green as a frog's dream. Oops, someone seems to turn green. Maybe because of envy? Poor girl, she can't get why everyone keeps staring at her. Okay, I'll give her the clue. Take a mirror. Oops, she's getting angry. At this time, she was modeling a toy strawberry in her arts and crafts classes. Take sugar paste of green, yellow, and red colors. Knead the red paste together with potato starch. Shape a strawberry. Make a hole for a stalk. Make tiny holes for seeds using a modeling tool. Knead the yellow paste with the starch. Make a thin roll. Cut it out into little seeds. Put a little water into each hole. Use tweezers to attach the seeds. Mix the green paste with the starch. Roll it up to make a leaf. Apply water to attach the leaf. Make a hole to stick a green stalk in using water. Now I'm going to prank my friend. Modeling clay makes me bored, but this strawberry is edible. My friend looks bewildered. She thinks the strawberry is in clay and believes all the clay is edible. Do you like eating weird things? Yes, my friend has a weird taste. So weird that she's made a new awesome marshmallow recipe. Put marshmallows into a microwave for 30 seconds. Knead it in a mixture of starch and fine salt. Shape marshmallow cubes. Put them into the bag. 
offer the sweets to your friend. She takes a cube and puts it into her mouth. It happens to be the prank marshmallow. Oops, what is that weird taste? Why is it salty? It seems the prankster doesn't like to be pranked. She doesn't enjoy eating salty marshmallows. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the bell so that you don't miss the most interesting videos.